So did you have fun last night, brother? Uh, you know, I mean, hey, uh, a little bit. It was a little long, you know. <laughs> And I, I kind of knew when you put it together because you didn't have all the details. I already nope. I, no, and, and I already knew how you roll and what you do. I got a little frustrated because I just knew. I mean, come on, man! I've been doing this forever. When I hear a time frame like that, means twelve o'clock, <laughs> six to ten is the time yeah, frame. Yeah, yeah, my ass. It was more like two, <laughs> one, one a.m. and I knew I wasn't going to be involved. I'm glad I was there to support you. Did you really know you, you didn't? I thought for sure. Uh, no, I knew I wasn't. Well, I don't you, fucking spit bars. I don't sing. You could have took a take. No, there was no time. Just gotta go hard. Uh, I go the hardest. I bring the pain. Wait, where were you guys at? I know, that's what I was about we, to say. We, Tell okay. them where we were at. No, man. so <laughs> Daryl is doing a, um, basically like a, a pilot for his um, mosh pit that he talked about before. And yeah. he's doing it, and he had us come up, and we went to the studio, and then, you know, he he was running out of time, and he wanted to give me some, and it came into what you had that one time when you were on set. He was going to go over time. Like, bro, I ain't going to be able to do that. And, like, it's not going to make any sense because you have to pay for it. I can't really do it. So I'm a man to admit that I can't rap or sing. But if I want to do voices and shit, I could do it. Yeah. But this man right here was ripping it. No, dude. I think, I think you know, it would have just been a different take and a different way. No, it would have been. But we'll go down the road. But you heard I told him. Yeah, you did. You heard I told him. I go, you owe me one. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what happens. It was, it, was, it was interesting to see the whole dynamics. Because I've never been in a studio like that before, so that was fun. Well, yeah. I have, but I've done like that. Not like really. that, yeah, yeah, and yeah. What, and, you know, it was, cra- it was great that he helped us create what he was doing. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, he brought us in to go over the script and everything. That was yeah. fun, so it was a good time. I did enjoy myself. We learned it really quick, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> some of that verbiage was a little weird, bro. <laughs> little but you got to imagine, it's a, it's a, it's a DJing, uh, interactive, you know, experiment, yeah. experience, game, you know, yeah. type thing, yeah. so... I, I think it will do. Concept's well. awesome. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So is. you know the thing I appreciate about I appreciate about you, bro. That's dope about you is is that your instinct is really dope. I right? appreciate that. And and you're really good at reading people quick. <laughs> I am, and then I'm yeah. I mean, I used to be really good at right? it. right. But the thing about intuition, you can find out about your life real quick about it because I've had some things I know I shouldn't get involved with, and then I got involved with bad, and then now they visit you all the time, and like I had someone show up on Sunday at my job. And right. Oh, yeah, how long were you uh, in gambling debt for? Never. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing I learned from horse racing about Just my intuition. Never. When I would talk about a horse that I like, and then you get to the track, and it's 25, 30 to 1, and you don't bet it, and it wins, that will fucking piss you off real <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. quick. <laughs> I'll tell you that much, but I appreciate that. You know what I mean? I think, uh, for you sure, know, dude. It's it's also with your intuition, like we talk about the universe. It's funny when you put stuff in the universe, what happens? Right. And not everybody can have that gift, and I do, and I don't use it as much. I've been going through a little bit of things right now. Yeah. Like we all do. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm coming through with it, so I'm I'm good. And um, you know, I do want to bring up something from Daryl last night, and uh, what was it, Riley? Right. Yeah. And he just brought up to me, "Where are you from, uh, New Jersey?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> Daryl, I've talked to, I know he's your dear friend. I've talked to him about five times. He was talking about Brooklyn. I go, do you listen to me when I fucking talk? (laughs) I'm from Salinas, California, bro. There you go. I I can't hit this table, so I'll break the damn thing. Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless on him. I I, I hate it. I hate when, I don't don't say I'm from New York. I just, be me or what part of New York. It's just such a bad stereotype I get. It has nothing against about people from New York. Right, 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 right. It just no You're one not believes me, and I don't fucking flaunt it like I'm from there. <laughs> I know Fuck, you I don't. wear Raider gear and fucking Dodger gear and fucking Laker gear. <laughs> you do. I don't wear any other fucking gear. And you're, yeah, I hear, I hear you, dude. Because speak to the truth, you know, definitely. People no, always they don't are like, listen. is he from New York? No, what part of New York? You and I'm like, no, he's, no. he's from Salinas, California. I mean, I mean I was, maybe I should really start talking. Like, hey guys, how we, uh, are we doing? Okay, like, Mark, would you want to go play hopscotch or go down the street and have a cranberry <laughs> juice? I mean, what the fuck am I gonna do? I'm a big dude. I talk. Dude. It's your look, bro, but it's well, okay. Fuck, that's what God blessed me with. But, some, but hey, you get girls like that sometimes, too, I right? ain't getting no damn girls right now. I'm trying to stay away from all of them. I'm trying to concentrate. I mean, oh, fuck, I'll tell you what. This fucking, I got bombarded this week. I worked by this fucking bros I used to fucking talk to. Ooh. So, yeah, you're, you're, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. You know, the B word showed up. You were the B word from the last, not not bitch, but the, the B word. Brooklyn, I, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. The, I love, I love how... <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, for sure, dude. That was interesting. Everybody knows you knows what you're talking no, about. No, in here. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I don't know. See, Stu, now I'm all fired up. You see how he's see, outside earlier? He goes, he goes, he goes, you, you all right? You look tired. Don't worry about me. Give me on the damn thing. Let's fire the shit up. <laughs> yeah, so nice. here we go. We on it. 
Uh, but thank you for the kind words, Mr. Right? Olson. I appreciate that. Episode 11. Wow. Damn, that's a lucky number. It is. Yeah, seven fire. with the 11. Seven with the 11. Back door, Big Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Flip the script. Flip the script. Let's do Flip it. Let's get, right, let's here get we it go. In. First one, three, two, one. Dramatic photos of the last hours of three Kansas City Chiefs fans could solve the mystery of how they died, cops believe, as they seek to unlock the friend's cell phones. Wow. Okay. I have no idea okay, about so this. this has been what is this? So this has been going on, dude, for weeks. So, so what happened was okay. it was after they were all watching the game together and three guys were found dead and froze to death in the backyard. Wow. And the guy that his house was, he survived and guess went upstairs. Of course. Now, this went on, this was a debate when I was working about what happened. And it's just funny to hear people talk about it. I mean, it's not funny. It, it's funny to hear the what everybody comes up with. Yeah, right, right, right. And everybody thinks it's drug related. But yeah, I, I would think fentanyl first. No, that's what everybody's yeah, thinking. Yeah. But the thing is, I guess they all, dude, in the backyard, they were all found dead in the snow. Look, dude, I'm going to tell you this, too. You know, I'm from Michigan. Mark knows yeah. Michigan. A lot of people get drunk, and they go outside and fall asleep and die. That's what happens. But that's the thing. I understand that. But all three of them? I know, but it, it, maybe they were hanging out outside well, I, and I, fell I'm asleep. I'm going to go with Marcus's, what Marcus said. Do you think they were drugged? Maybe. I mean, I mean it's it, pretty elaborate. My one, uh, my the guy I work with, uh, I bartended with, he said it best. He goes, yeah, man, they were probably all partying. And he went upstairs, put his headphones on, just did his thing and thought they left. And then, damn, you know? Yeah, so this has been going on for weeks. Unfortunate, man. Wow. Yeah. That's you right. Did you hear about this or no? No, I had no idea. I had no idea either. I heard about it. Yeah, you heard about it. Yeah, it's been going on for a long time because it was, um, it wasn't a playoff game. It was like, before, I think it was before Christmas or something like that, or maybe a little bit after. I can't mm, remember. Okay. So. Yeah. That's sad. insane, dude. That's, that's, that's horrible. That's yeah, but like I said, I've definitely heard stories of people. Uh, my going heart goes in the out to their family. I find out what happens. I just think it's just a, a tragedy. And it's just so it's so strange to me, and I don't I understand what you're saying, but yeah. it's just weird, right? Yeah. What we got uh, next, big dog? Three, two, one. Pennsylvania man arrested after allegedly killing his father and displaying his decapitated head on YouTube. <laughs> God damn. Let's hear this, Joe. What okay, the this, this what, is horrible. What, I, what, I, yeah, I heard this is horrible, and I, and I hope the young man gets some help, and I know he's going to go to prison, but, I mean, the, my bigger problem is... Explain this, please. Is is I can't say fuck on YouTube within the first, <laughs> first three seconds or whatever the fuck it's they like do. eight minutes or something no, like that. No, <laughs> whatever, but you can go ahead and put a, a decapitated head on YouTube. Yeah, right, right. right. Uh, well, how did that even get on? How did YouTube even allow that to go on there? Uh, and nobody caught it. Yeah, no, they probably thought it was a decapitated. Well, and, and, and as it soon is, as it goes up and it gets it gets views and clicks, people just yep. screenshot it and and and, uh, and download the and video and they keep it forever. Disgusting act. Uh, how do you do that to your father? Yeah, let alone put it on YouTube so everybody can see it. Got to be fucked up, man. You think? <sighs> I mean, I mean, ill son over here <laughs> is kind of speechless. So it says with dark in, here in the, in the video. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, in the video, which has been removed. Justin right, Moan says his father was a federal employee and refers to him as a traitor while voicing right-wing conspiracy theories. Wow. There you go. That's so there's, worse. there's, there's, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's insane, man. It's a sad world we're in right now. Um, yeah. uh, let's hope it gets better, not worse. Yeah. 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 There we go, man. What we got next, Mark? All right. Three, two, one. Elon Musk's Neuralink company implants brain chip in first human. Now, this was interesting, right? You yeah, seen this? Sure. Uh, the report that came We've out. We've been hearing about this for years. Yeah, yeah, but it was just, you know, talked about. They actually implanted it, and you know, he said uh, via X that the patient is actually doing well and thriving, and they're, you know, getting better. And let's see, do you, do do you know what what the capability will be for this? Yeah, I'm not getting chipped at all. Well, because the people they're using on it first have like brain damage yeah, yeah, and like they, really bad situations. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he, they want to do it. They, they want to well, chip eventually. Ugly, yeah. Eventually. So just like they do in China, they know everywhere you're at. Well, no, I, I I get that. That's definitely what will be the end game. But right now, you know, I, I think Eli even said in in a, I mean Elon even said uh, in a in a, a post or something that he he had the telepathy because that's what they're calling it, right? Damn. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Like, yeah. We brought that back, right? Yeah. <laughs> he did, Riley's like, what the hell's going on? I struggled saying that word. A couple episodes. A couple was, episodes ago. Yeah, yeah. We made a whole was, video I about it. Funny. But uh, yeah. he, uh, 
he said that uh, he built it and had the idea from uh, Steve Hawkins. Like he wanted to, you know, help people that were, you know, disabled and had issues that can make them communicate faster. But this thing, you can control devices, your computer, your phone. We're just thinking about it. Like that's like the it's wild. It's and <laughs> and we got somebody, a human, that's got it in their head right now. Let's see what happens. And like I said, they can know wherever you're at at all times and what you're doing. Yeah, I'm like pretty it. sure they already do know where I, you're at. From that, that right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Well, yeah, because we're already, because when he was on Rogan's podcast a couple of years ago, he was talking about how we're already cyborgs. Like, the phone is an yeah. extension of ourselves. So this just eventually becomes something that's already a part of you. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's wild inside of this world. But, I mean, Elon, it's, uh, literally every one of his companies is pushing the world forward and, you know, I mean, helping a lot of people with this, obviously, as it develops, it gets a little tricky. Right, for sure. But uh, everything does. Uh, you know, I think that the, the biggest thing people got to realize, too, is that the, the out the out gear that's going to have to, you know, come with the... Because it can't be just like... I don't think it's going to be like just, oh, any computer, any laptop, any phone. I think it's going to be a specific, right? Because right, they're doing... Or, aren't they talking about doing, like, phones now and like, everything? Like, yeah, you just think... Could you imagine you can make... Um, call Joe. Phone rings. You pick up. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. I don't think it's cool at all. I think it's lazy. <laughs> I think it's lazy. It's the future, dude. I don't care about the better damn get on future. the board wagon. I mean, better get on the bandwagon. I don't need to get on. You are a bandwagon guy. <laughs> For sure you are. Better get on the bandwagon, yeah. Isn't that bro. crazy? We, we went from like dial-up computers right. to then now quick internet and then even faster internet. And now it's just going to be the think, thought. Right. Right? I mean, that's and, where do you go from there, right? Crazy. That's Yeah. Then we end humankind. Eventually, we become our own demise, and we start over again in the ice age. Right. Um, let's see oh, what else man. we got what here. What else we got? Brother? Three, two, one. Scientists develop new method to test for recent marijuana use with ninety-six percent accuracy in federally funded driving simulation study. Wow. Well, man, I want I want the dark route. You want the scientific route today? Huh? Is that what happened over here? Yeah. Man, yep. when I seen this, you know, I was just like, dang, you know, like, hey, it's because there's Uber, so DUIs are down, right, across the board. Now that marijuana is legal, they're trying to get as much as they can, bro. So now they're giving police officers and, you know, all, all, all law this test that you could take. And in 30 seconds, you can tell if, if someone smoked within 15 to 20 minutes. And it's like, was it 96% accuracy? What did so, you think was going to happen? I mean, I so look, I get people that are smoking and, and, and riding. Like that's, you know, same thing as like when you're taking shots and driving, right? But if you've smoked before and you've had time to chill for a minute, and but you still have it in your system and they're going to send you to jail over this stuff, I think it's crazy, man. I, think it's crazy. I don't. It's a, it's a, Why does this surprise you? I mean, I knew it would be taxed at some point somehow, well, but they, I didn't think gonna it was going to be like this. Bro, it's just like this This is an old story from Buka when I was managing. Like this homeless dude left, and these two cops came out, and I had to give him something and started talking to him. And I was talking about how Uber saved lives and this and that. You, yeah, know, the, you know what the fucking guys told me? Don't ever use those services because all criminals drive. Because the numbers <laughs> Are you talking dipped, about the police said yeah, that to you? So the, so the, it's dipped so much, of course they're going to bring the weed game up in it. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, I get what you're saying, but it's just like a guy that drinks. It's the same shit. That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, Los Angeles probably, you know, it'll be, it won't be as effect effective, but uh, in different states, definitely. Well, they, but you have to remember, it's not legal in every state, so this is going to be federal. They're going to be They're all They're going to run with this, yeah. Well, no, because it's a moneymaker. Right, absolutely. It's a moneymaker. And you said, have you guys heard about uh, Waymo yet? No, what's that? Waymo is Google's product. It's self-driving car, self-driving Ubers, basically. Yeah. And they, they're in Arizona. They just came here. I just signed yeah, up. I, know. I just, I, I, yeah, because I want the experience. I want to see what it's like. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, you can. St you'll start seeing them. They're like, I think they're. I don't know if they're all different colors, but they're white cars, and you'll see like the thing on the top see, with I all the like different that. cameras. And yeah, you just put it in, and then so I think based on that, the the fee would be less, the fare would be less because there's no human to be needing to be paid. Right. And supposedly it's the most they they they've marketed it as like the the they've had the most driving experience because this car has just been going like it's driving nonstop for however many years now as they've been practicing this. Um, but should be I'm really not into that at all. That's some freaky ass shit to me. <laughs> you said Google Google. It's Google's. Google's I mean, I, you go yeah, ahead and do it. And I, I hope everything's all right. I just don't trust that shit. That market's uh, going to be crazy though if you really think about I, it. Wait till yeah. let it be a little successful. Then there's going to be so much comp competitors coming yeah. in there. I mean, already. Know. I mean, if they've if they've already you know been 
creating this product over the last few years. And Google, of course, is always in, in, ahead of everybody. I absolutely. Um, and seeing what happened with Uber and then Lyft and everything and for them to have their product. Because I think they tried to do, they tried to, you know, join the game before, but it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, I think I, I saw it in like the Uber, it wasn't a documentary, the Uber series about how they created Uber. Right. And there was a part about Google and they were talking about doing something. Yeah. So here yeah. we are. Yeah, there's, I mean, they really, they go, those, all those companies, man, that's, that's some, some big stuff there. Zilla, what you think about that? Uh, it's crazy, man. Like, uh, I want someone driving me. <laughs> See, I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not with that shit at all. I'm not. You still you take, you still, are. Well, you're from Brooklyn. You guys take cabs. Oh my so god, dude! <laughs> shit. Telling you, man, it, it's, it's gonna go on forever, bro. I, I just deal with it. I just. It, it just. It never fucking ends. Ah <laughs> uh, man, flip the script. That was cool. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday is gonna be the following week. So, so yeah. yeah. So eleventh. Yeah. Yeah. The eleventh. So. This will be on Monday, right? So Mondays, yeah, yeah. Monday, yeah. So up. then, yeah, it'll be. So let's do a little prediction, man. Woo! I don't fucking give two shits about that damn game. Seriously? I can't stand Jesus. either one of them God. fucking teams. <laughs> no, it's a fucking truth. Okay, man. I, I, I'd rather You're gonna just, watch the damn game. I, I'll, I'll probably be working. I ain't watching shit. No, whatever. Shit. You're gonna watch the hell out of that me, game. Let me let me tell you something. Let, let something happen. Hey, hold, You're gonna call on. me let and me tell me. Let me fucking talk. <laughs> You're gonna call me. Let, and tell let's me. clear the elephant in the room and talk about. Let's hear it. Marcus's trip with his great father. To go watch the Detroit, awesome. Detroit, the Detroit Lions fucking give away that game to them fucking <laughs> bums up north. <laughs> San Francisco, tough. huh? Oh, my uh, God, dude. Mark, bums. Mark, you're an awesome son, dude. Yeah, yeah you are. That, that, that was, was really a great cool. gift. That was really cool, bro. Thanks. Yeah, it was, it was like a last-minute thing because I started thinking about it, and then my sister and I were on Zoom, and, and she was like, yeah, I'm just thinking because everybody was going to the Detroit Lions games. My dad wouldn't usually do right. something like that. I was like, well, I was thinking about going up. I'm like, oh, we should get him. A t- we should get him tickets. And uh, so then we we figured it out. He had this was his Midwestern day, right? In Detroit, he went curling. He, he went curling. He went curling Saturday morning. <laughs> Hold on, he, he curls. He curls once a year with his buddies. Wow. Oh, but I, I've always wanted That's to do that. Oh uh, yeah. Well, Have we, you done when it? I take you to Michigan, we'll go. I, I've always it. wanted to I've done to try it twice. It. Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's cool. Fucking Olympic sport. Dude. Yeah, yeah. You, it, you know what it entails, right? Yeah, I know what oh, the fuck. Can you skate? No, no, you don't need to skate. You don't need to skate. You just curl. You sit and just, there and just... Yeah, the ice has... Uh, it's like Salt, uh, right? No, it's not salt. It's It's got like... I don't know why Braille came to my mind, but it's bump, bump. <laughs> yeah, it's like what? So they just so like slip resistant shoes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, they put some break because it it's scatters. yeah, it's bumping on top. Yeah, but you can yeah, but uh, but that's why when you create the friction and you you don't slip based on that. But uh, but yeah, so he went curling, then he went axe throwing, <laughs> like you know at the, one of the axe houses yeah. where you throw in the bullseye. And then left there, and then took his flight to here to go see <laughs> his, his football what a combo. team. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, that, that, was, that's that's awesome. I'm like, oh yeah, if you guys you guys remember euchre? You ever yeah. play euchre yeah. in Michigan? Oh, I yeah. played euchre before. Oh, yeah. So like, I was like, we should do like a midwestern day where it's like like a tournament where we like, get a bunch of people together. They got to curl, then they got to play bags like the the bean bags. Yeah, and then you gotta play euchre. Yeah, cornhole, cornhole. Play euchre, and then axe throwing, and then like have a competition. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever axe thrown? Yeah. Yeah, I went on a date. Uh, Man, I uh, <laughs> we did first. Our first date was Axe Thorn. Uh, you guys drinking? No. <coughs> well, this girl, like, she wanted to go Axe Thorn and drink. I go, you got your damn. That's mind. what they do, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think know. you can get cocktails there. Actually, yeah. um, that, that's some the of the stupidest places. fucking thing I've ever heard. But in my it's life. really controlled. <coughs> yeah, but was, cages and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say euchre's spades. It's you know, really, it's yeah. white person, yeah. white, yeah, black, white. You say it's really controlled by someone does the fucking eight ball and slams fucking eight shots and fucking starts throwing axes at people. It's like walls. <clears throat> Excuse me, blocked, you know, and they got like I, I know I, thick yeah. glass, and yeah, it's pretty cool. But I mean, it's safe, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so he gets out here. We're super stoked to go. We leave at seven a.m. We're heading up there. We got our Detroit stuff on. We stopped at a Chili's like thirty minutes before. <laughs> Walking in, a bunch of Chiefs fans looking at us sideways. We go and Niner I, I, fans. Yeah, yeah. You oh, said sorry, Chiefs. my yeah, bad. Niner <laughs> <fans>. <laughs> That's what actually, he thought there, of. Them. There actually was some Chiefs fans. I'm sure there was because <laughs> that game was on right before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, so then we, we leave there. One of the yeah, this one little kid. I was walking to the bathroom, like you know, looking around, and he was like, "Hey, you a Detroit fan?" All loud. I'm like. I was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, we're playing y'all today. I'm like, I know, man. Good luck out there. <laughs> but we get to the game, and it's just everybody's talking shit. Like oh, you're yeah. walking up to Levi Stadium. And then we just sit down and had the best first half you could ever have. And we just were like, we're on top of the world. 
So we go like halfway through, you know, it's halftime. So we go like take a piss, grab a hot dog and a beer or whatever. And people are looking at us. They're all pissed off. Right. They're chanting different <laughs> things, like talking shit. And, uh, but it's relatively quiet. And then we walked back up and then had the biggest, I saw uh, Dave Portnoy say this might be the worst loss in like NFL history or something, just based on the weight of the game nah, and the comeback. Yeah, I wouldn't but it's, go that far. Yeah, yeah. Worst loss. But it was one of, yeah. I mean, it's up there. So it was, it was, was it, it 24 was 7 and a half? 17 was, point lead at yeah, half. 17, yeah, 24, yeah, 24 7, 7 and a half. half. We right? hit that field goal to yeah. you know, go ahead. And then they came back one after another. Yeah. Then a fumble, you know, some some other mistakes, that, drop balls. Yeah. and Well, he loves it. He won't kick anything. I think that Falcons, yeah. Well, oh yeah, uh, yeah. We talked about this, and I think he—that's what they do all year. We, I mean, even on previous podcasts, we've talked about this. The Detroit Lions go for it on fourth down. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, listen, they hit, hit, what's his name's hands that one time? Hey. Like, so he was just trying to. The momentum was just so out of control, and being in that stadium, everybody being loud, you could just—it was palpable. The first half, we—they couldn't do anything. It was yeah. quiet after the first three minutes of the game. They were so quiet in there, yeah. and we were just and we were just, just blowing was, them out. Yeah. Man. So after the game, we went to a went to a bar. You know, most everybody felt bad for us as we were leaving because everybody <laughs> everybody loved the Detroit Lions. It was a good was like, ass game, and too. everybody wanted the best for the Lions yeah, for the right. most part. But then right. it's also you're playing for the Super Bowl, right? So then we were leaving. Most people were were nice and respectful, and there was a couple of assholes. And I had to like, <laughs> I had to, I had to like the the, the Detroits so that's still inside me. I had to like minimize that so I didn't say anything or talk some shit. Um, and went to a bar after, and people would just be like, "Oh man, everybody's just drinking together, playing pool and shit." And right. But it was it was a great time. It could have been a little better based on that, but my dad and I had the the best time, so it was it was awesome. That's awesome, man. I'm really glad you enjoyed. It. I was pulling yeah. for you when I was working, like, yeah, and yeah. I was also thinking about how me and you talked about putting in a bet <sighs> that we they were sixteen to one to get to the Super Bowl, and I'm sitting here the whole. Did fucking, you call them? Oh, we talked. Oh, okay. We, 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 this, no, this was before the playoffs started. Yeah, yeah, this was way before. Yeah, this, this is way before. And I could have got about 16 to 1. I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the fucking game. I'm like, this fucking mad, dude. It's like, <laughs> but then I'm thinking, you know what? I don't matter if Mark wins, I'll be happy for Mark and all the other Lions fans, you know? And right. then, they, of course, the Niners did because I'm not a huge Niner fan as everybody knows, being the yeah. Raider fan. But that's why this, this Super Bowl, I, it, it, There'll be some Raider fans that are pissed at me, but I can't go for the Chiefs, bro. I just can't do it. I just, I can't do it. And I'd rather have yeah. the Niners win. I'd rather them get another chip. But I, I think it's interesting that, you know, now it's, um, what are they talking about? It's um, E40 versus Swifty. Oh, <laughs> instead of Eminem versus Yeah, yeah it's E40 <laughs> versus Swifty now. Uh, and, and, you know, I've also seen some articles that, you know, she's, uh, since Swifties has come out and hung out Swifties. with Swifties. Yeah, whatever the fuck, Swift. I, I'm, See, I'm not a big you're fan. You're saying of it right. It's yeah. funny. The Swift coming out with fucking with Swift. Kelsey, like the sales on the jerseys and the mem, uh, merchandise has gone up to like 321 yeah. million. Views are up. No, that's. I, mean, I think dude. that's what they correlated yeah. b based on the additional success yeah. based on him and her relationship. 330 million for the NFL and uh, and the Chiefs. And and the ratings are up. People are watching the game. People that have well, watched I'll tell you the, what, people have new people, so you know, that's that's what counts. New people are watching, not like the same old fans. New people are oh, watching. That's the problem. Prediction, damn man, twenty seven uh, seventeen. You think Kansas by City. ten? Oh, twenty seven seventeen. Let me get some of that action. <laughs> you think they're gonna beat them by ten? I think so. I no, no. Uh, you, you, but, but but yeah. here's the thing, though. An interesting What's yours? stat is. <laughs> you only finish. <laughs> the interesting yours? stat is I don't do that bullshit because I know it's a, the interesting stat is the Niners haven't covered in the playoffs at all. Really? No, they didn't. No. Well, yeah, because yeah, I mean, Lions they were, they had they were seven, given, seven They were half. given ten yeah. against uh, Green Bay or nine and a half or ten, and then against uh, Detroit, Detroit was seven, seven or seven and a half. half. Yeah, I'll, I'll say Kansas City thirty-one, San Francisco twenty-four. I'll say it's going to be 51-52, the Niners. <laughs> no, the Raiders. for the win. No, I, I would say it's probably going to be, I'll say it's, uh, let's, let's see, uh, I'll say 35-28, Niners. I was going to say the same thing. There you go. 35-28. I think, I think it might be You think be they're going to get a safety? I'm joking. Actually, no, you know, <laughs> no, I mean, hey, that, that's, that is going to be an interesting Super Bowl. That's always the interesting bet if you take it, that there's a, uh, a safety in the Super Bowl. It's oh, like yeah. really high odds. Bro. 
Bro, I've talked about this before. Oh, this God. fucking <laughs> asshole that used to come in the Buka, man. I, I, I'd, I'd help people out, give them bets. I told him to bet the safety of the Super Bowl. He had at 51. That cock's not going to give me no damn money. <laughs> no, of course not. Then I told him to make the damn bet. He didn't give me no money. <laughs> of course not. If I not. see his ass, I'll still say something. Uh, <laughs> how'd you That's know he won? Up. Because he fucking came back and told me. <laughs> he told me and I told him to play it. Damn. Remember, uh, remember my friend that I told you he took Michigan to win the yeah, yeah, national yeah. championship, yeah. and he took Detroit to win the yeah, Super yeah, Bowl. Yeah. And for for however much you put, fifteen dollars, it was like twenty five hundred or three thousand to win. At halftime, he put on Instagram, "Should I take the money because they were offering him on FanDuel? Oh, bro, a thousand dollars or nine hundred dollars? Would you have taken it at that point, or yeah. would you let it ride? I would have. I would have took. I would have took it. Yeah, I would have took it too. I would have took it. Not easy to say now. I would have let it ride. Yeah, same. I think I told him to let it ride. Of course you did. Yeah. No, you're you're the biggest, hindsight you, is you're 20, the biggest 20. damn gambler in this room. Uh, hindsight yeah, is 2020. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah, I mean, because they're up 24. You know, you're up 17 points. Because you're kicking yeah, yeah, yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But they also but man, win the Super Bowl again. They though, had too, the so. fumble and that fluke ass. The, the DB should have an interception. Yeah. And then it flew up and the receiver caught it. That was some weird ass shit. That bro. was wild. Yeah. That was a badly thrown ball, yeah. too. Yeah, it was. You didn't see that? That wasn't in the script? Well, you never know. Who knows? See, now the script thing's all oh, weird. Don't, don't get them started there, man. No. Don't get them started there. We don't got enough time? <laughs> we don't. We don't. <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk about a recent thing that uh, we've seen on Netflix, right? Dumb Money? Yeah. What's your, uh, what's your opinion on that? Who, who was that? It's Seth Rogen. Pete, Pete Davis. Davis. Pete oh, Davidson. yeah. And w- what's it about again? It's about um, stocks. Yeah. I thought it was very well made. Well, it, it specifically the uh, Robin Hood, yeah. yeah, Robin Hood and GameStop, GameStop, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I thought it was it, very well made. It was, and and it's crazy, you know how that whole thing played out, man. And then the stuff with Robin Hood shutting everything down, freezing yeah. everybody out. That's right when I got in. I oh, got really? in as soon as they as soon as they shut it down. Yeah, that, that I was, was about to get it in. I was about to get in on it. So many people were too, man. But it. It just shows you when people stick together to go against something like that, and everybody did did do a really good job in in their roles, yeah. But that's just crazy, man. Yeah, they explained it really properly because yeah. everybody kind of knew what happened, or like it was, but it was very right. hazy, like hazy, yeah. And then you're like, oh shit, these are the like, facts, yeah. yeah. And that dude was a badass, man. To how he, he was, I, yeah. I'm I'm holding, I'm right? holding, right. everybody, I'm, I'm not selling, yes. Ah, no, it was. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was an awesome movie. Um. Uh, Left field, right? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I thought it was going to come right now. Yeah. <laughs> we were in center field for a second. I'm going to go fire Joe up on this one. I bet you uh, are. So I wanted to talk about a little bit about, and I don't want you to go too far, but, mm-hmm. you know, a little bit about the borders right now. Texas, Arizona, the crazy money being spent, stuff, be, people, you know, crossing over, being shipped to different places. On buses, uh, the the detention centers, all the stuff that's going on right now. What's your opinion on everything right now? Everybody should come to this country legally. Right. That's my opinion. Okay. My, 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 my ancestors and my people that came over from Italy and from Europe came over to, through Ellis Island. They came legally. I feel everybody should come through legally to this country. I, I'm very short and sweet about it. I don't got to get too deep into it. That's how I feel. And, and you well, know. well, I think... What about the specific situation that's going on right now as far as, you know, people, you know, coming in illegally, but like not, it's, oh, it's not been like, going on for years. They're never going to stop. Hate, and, it's, and we're not taking no sides on anything. We're just trying to, you know, well, no, uh, I mean, elaborate but, but, where but, we're but at. But the thing it. is, it's like, you know, it's a big question but, right but, now. But, but and when immigrants come in, they get free health care. Is in that the across the board in or the is state, that just California? In the state. And now there's people I know that don't have it at all. Do you think that's right? I mean, there's a, there's a lot of different. Ways I, I to look think at we it. need to take care of our country, in which we never do, and it's an ongoing thing that's been going on for years. Okay, so that's how I feel about it. I hear that, you know, I, but at the same time, the the current administration is, you know, sanctuary states and letting you know a lot of a lot of people into the country. Right I, I'm more I'm more uh, shocked that you want to talk get into political shit this right now. This isn't political, well, you man. Just you just said you, it right you now. You make it political no, if you, you want. Said, that's why you got that shit-eating fucking grin on your face. <laughs> I'm literally just, it, it's a concern, and it's not like I'm trying to figure out, you know, the negative, positive, but what's both sides of it, you know? It can't just be, I agree, you know, it's tough right now for sure because <coughs> people just, 
you know, coming over and 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 doing what you said, you know. I'll, I mean, it's it, been going on for years. Well, it's and, the tough. I think the toughest thing is that it's like the floodgates are open. It's right, like, right. So many people. So, but I also think the fact that like the U.S., how long it takes because working in the restaurant business, I have a lot of friends that were and that's <laughs> illegal, and that's why it gets really tough because it's like if I was over there and it was taking forever and like it was super dangerous where I was, or I wanted better for my family. I'm fu- I'm finding a way. That's yeah, what I was trying is, to say. But you see how much of these people make money off. Of it. But, but that's what I'm also saying that I I think we gotta we gotta stop we gotta stop this too. We gotta yeah. figure it out. Yeah. So I'm I'm just saying it's a, a very nuanced uh, type of situation. We gotta we gotta halt things right because it could get really tricky. <laughs> Absolutely. And and did you see the 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 speech that the Salvadorian president gave uh, like two days yeah, ago? I, I've seen, I've, yeah, I actually, yeah, I've seen. You've seen clips of it. Yeah, yeah, he's really you know. But I mean, it's it's you know, it's bro. Like the it's a lot of people coming here from from crazy parts of the world that you know like are having a hard time right now. So. You know, I see both sides, but actually, I mean, but absolutely, I agree with you that there needs to be a, a, a kind of a, a process, you know, for, for people to, they just can't be flooding, you know, like, it's just, it's getting to the point now where it's like, New York, you know, Chicago. Yeah, but it's been going on in Cali forever, because you know me, you well, know me, Texas and you, Arizona, you know me, absolutely. You know how many tunnels there are from here to Mexico right now? A million. They're all over the place. Hmm. And, that's, and the crazy thing is like the people not covering it, and the fact that Elon Musk went down there and went live. Yeah, that's crazy. On on X or on Twitter, on yeah, Twitter, yeah, yeah. I mean on uh, I don't know if it was Instagram or what, and to actually because of the you know the different news stations won't go or uh, the president's not going there and turning a blind eye. It's, I mean, there's and there's so much stuff that we don't know that Absolutely. based on these decisions. Well, that's, that that, that's, the, stuff. Big, that's yeah. the biggest problem about anything. Yeah, we don't know shit. Well, and there's we, we don't because no one's ever going to tell us what's really going on. Yeah, Do you be- know I have a friend that his dad was a ranger, and he he was I can't remember I think he was he was nom I'm not sure, but he got some chemical in his body right. Sure, they can't open his jacket to see what really happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To like 2045. Well, that's, yeah. that's that's and I, 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 that's what the government does. They do some they, classified they, stuff uh, then. But still, you should be able to know what happened to him. Right. That, that, that's the bigger see. Well, uh, well, but that's how the government works. There's, they're hiding every. We all well, know look, this. There's, there's airplane hangers with like 500 cots in them, and that's where people are be- going to. And you know, like, can you imagine the cost of that and everything that's going on right there? Like, there's a lot of stuff breaking out right now. So I, I just you well, know. see that. Well, then you say that, but look at all the homeless right now down the street. They have nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean. To catch twenty two. Yeah, it's a it's a tough, situa- a a tough situation. Tough sure. And and uh yeah, it's whew. <laughs> but and it's also election season, so yeah, well, you know, you people know. Oh, it's gonna be one hell of a year. Get it's your booze up. ready. Oh, get, your booze, get, 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 get your alcohol ready. It's yeah. February get already. Your smoke baby. With, we're ready. If you do edibles and all that shit, get that ready. You might even want to start <laughs> microdosing. <laughs> you might even want to do a little wait, scarface wait. season if jo- you want is, to. Is this Joe Rose Corner? You, uh, oh, I can't actually, we can get into that. <laughs> I want to do. I he do said I, microdosing. <laughs> yeah, I do want to get in Joe Rose Corner because. Uh, there has been something that's been bothering me lately, and I, I, if you if you like me out there and you like what I say, please comment and reach out to me, text message, phone, whatever, DMs. It's interesting now as I get older, and I'm still a bartending, and watch grown ass men talk shit about what happens in a game when they don't have one athletic fucking bone in their body. <laughs> it drives me fucking nuts to hear these people talk. It, it it all happened on Sunday. It was really getting bad on Sunday. Joe Rose it, Corner. It was driving me fucking nuts just to hear the shit coming out of his mouth. Because you've had four or five cocktails or whatever. Oh, you know, he's got to go over here and catch like this. Bro, did you ever play football at any level? <laughs> Screaming, talking about Dan Campbell's so arrogant. And, you know, he he's this and he's that. Dude, just shut up. And I hear it all the time, bro. You know, because I've said on all the platforms I've ever been, if I talk about a player's... I say respectfully, he's a pro athlete. He's made it. That game is hard. Right. It's not easy. And to hear all the ignorant shit that comes out of people's mouth just drives me nuts, bro. Oh, we could tell. Because <laughs> <laughs> the best thing is, is like people always ask me, don't you like to watch games in public? No, I like to watch them at home. Yeah, you really do. And the fucking neighbor down the street can hear me. <laughs> when I go, Ray! Oh, I, I, had to, I had to stop going and watch games. That's what. That's when I stopped watching football for a decade because I because no, we'd go watch games, 
And then I would put some money on the games, and then my team would be winning in fourth quarter, fucking lose it, and I would just go home and be depressed, yeah. and then and lo- spend all my money and be hungover the next day. Like, and you were probably with Tetros too, so you probably yeah, had yeah, something yeah. to do involved oh, yeah, with yeah. that. Huh? Uh, huh? Uh, since my team's been terrible, I haven't really been watching as many <laughs> so, games as I used yeah, to. Yeah, but you know, I used to watch. I used to watch games. I used to watch every, game, especially when you're playing fantasy or something. You know. But oh, I just yeah. think it, you're watching every makes game. Yeah, but I think I don't know yeah. if it's you, that you get older and you're you're kind of over it or just just seeing how people they are. I'm like, dude, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I mean, I could only imagine, dude. You're, you're, especially when you're tending bar and you got people coming in there dr- drunk as hell, oh, giving dude, you shit. It's unbelievable. And you, I know you, you, <laughs> you take them. Little. Well, no, we were talking about. Get <laughs> to kick somebody I, out I, or what? I, I was talking about this with Stu on the way over here. He was talking to me about a situation he was doing. Yeah. And he was talking about customers facing it. You have to be blessed and inviting. I go, I don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do it my own way, but right, Zilla? Yeah. Is that yeah. right, Zilla? <laughs> hey, hey, Zilla, who was, who was Joe Rowe when you first met him? Who was, who was Joe? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Same dude, man. Really? No, I yeah. remember. I remember he trained me at Mac and Wayne. He goes, hey, dude, one. you need to smile, dude. <laughs> same, same, same from day one. He hasn't changed a bit. Dude. Not a bit. Same person. Dude. I can imagine. Yeah. That, that was the, the thing I always found interesting when Joe and I were uh, waiting tables together. That, like, based on his demeanor, like he was never like disrespectful, but he was, you know, it was Joe, and and people wanted to win him over. Right. So then they would like tip him more because of that. So it was yeah. like this psycho- uh, like psychological. Thing that you're Warfare. Doing. Yeah, yeah. He was an look awesome at him looking waiter. at look, look at him looking at the camera right now. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, Joe was an awesome waiter from like week one, dude. Yeah, <laughs> not, not writing anything down, just memorizing it. I wouldn't go that far, but he killed it. <laughs> you, well, Buka was a little easier. I did it all the fucking time. Now I smoke too much weed. I have a problem with it whenever once in a while. Yeah. I'm just fucking around. Uh, um, what you got, Mister Left oh, Field? Oh well, I mean, I, I don't really have anything left field. I was just going to ask you about. Uh, did you hear about the the California politician? What's his name? I think here I we go back to this it's... fucking politics shit. Now. No, no. It when was, I it's... describe this show, we don't talk. We'll go ahead. But, but, I'm just saying, bro. Just listen, man. Scott Weiner. I've heard of the name. So you see what he proposed? That's that's like getting passed around for legislation right now. What? He wants to put a governor on all the cars so that they go. They can can't go ten miles over. Oh no! I heard limit. about this. So. Those are easy to take off, though. But, but I mean, could you imagine? No, but if you get caught with it, without with taking it off, you're gonna, you know. So, it, so you can only go ten miles over the speed limit, dude. I'm telling you, they don't want a middle class. They don't want anybody doing this state. That's why we gotta get the fuck out of here. How fast are you really going on the 405, anyways? Yeah, I mean, 80. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, I hit a buck. I, I hit a buck twenty traffic, last night yes. when I left the damn fucking studio when I got on the one on one off ramp. But when, you, ramp. when you're when you're going, you know, when it's clear traffic, yeah, people, I, everybody's yeah. going about 75, 80. Yeah, I was eighty five, ninety on the way up to five. Yeah, yeah, the five especially, yeah, definitely. So what do you uh, think? What, I, terrible. I mean, think about people. People spend so much money on cars, you know, and 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 they want to open them up sometimes, and it's it is what it is. I just don't. I think it's gonna kill what they're trying to do with tickets and, and giving people, you know, making as much money for this. That's why it won't pass. That's why it won't pass. Because the state needs to rob people for what they do. <laughs> Is that Just what? like I got a punk ass <laughs> fucking ticket on the street by the studio <laughs> and it's sixty eight fucking dollars. What was it for again? Part because I was because it was two hour parking. Yeah, you need a permit on that. Like yeah, I'll if you go if you go, if you go far enough down down the street, it's permitted because they need enough for the people is living it, there. Is it across the first street <laughs> there? Because I parked there today. Uh, that's, why I, that's why I told I didn't you to see do any it. permit in anything. Well, you got to watch it. I yeah, gave yeah. heads up, Lance. Yeah. So did you make is a that left? the same area? Did you make a left? <laughs> no, I went straight, and I and I think I forgot what street it is. That cross street when you pass marks, and then you go here. I went right over there, and I parked this right on this side. Uh, you might be all right. See, yeah. I went and part, went, kept on going through by that stop, and then I went on the left hand side. Oh, and got yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I hope not. That sucks. <laughs> I gave you fair warning. So, he hold did. on. But it, did he park there last? Yes. You, you didn't give me that much fair warning then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I fucking told you. You, you should have said, I got a ticket right here last time. I told you down there, I got a ticket. Don't pay it. <laughs> Definitely not going to do that. Um, uh, I want to take it somewhere too. What do you think about? So I was reading this thing, man, and it was it was it was really crazy. It's uh, let me get her name right. Uh, Mariana Van Zeller. 
She's a National Geographic That's investigative my reporter. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she was talking about like, like uh, fake pharmaceuticals and stuff that mm-hmm. are going on. Mm-hmm. You know, not just in Mexico. There's it's all They're over everywhere. the country, right? Yeah, yeah. but like. Uh, she did some some you know she went with like some sicarios and mm-hmm. did some really crazy stuff and like she was telling me that in the in the interview she was telling uh she was saying about they literally like take calcium and food dye and that's your Adderall or your you yeah. know and they're and they're they're spending their money on the packaging right and then you got the ones that are doing like Mark said a little bit earlier fentanyl about discussing that last topic uh fentanyl and and you know cutting it with uh, uh i think it was meth and it's crazy man right now and this market is really 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 killing people man and and, and i want you to check that out man because she did it re- she's been doing it for years man she goes to africa the congo oh, dude, does all it, types dude, of stuff I, I but was, like that was so interesting man the, the this 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 game is getting nasty well man. the whole it's game gonna is gonna get is worse disgusting yeah i agree with you oh so let me ask you a question yeah what attracts you to people what attracts me to people, mm-hmm. like as far as like friendship or what, like uh, yeah, well, like, the, uh, like a conversation? Yeah, you know, I talk general. to anybody, you know. Like, well, I, I'll give everybody a chance. Problem. You can't be doing that. Why? Yeah. Why do you do that? Because I think you know you got to weigh people out for yourself. You know, if if you see, so just give any Joe Schmo off the street a chance. Well, now if 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 you were like, hey, somebody that I trusted told me like, hey, dude, that dude's, you know, don't don't fuck with him. You know, don't talk to him. Don't don't hang with him. Don't he's a, you know this this that. Then you know it's a different thing, but you know most people I'll give a chance. You know, like, hey, see what their conversation is, and if you know I weigh it out, if it's bullshit, then I keep it moving. But if not, I'm not saying I'm best friends with people like that. But if it happens, it happens, bro. I'm, I'm gonna give people a chance. What's the question? <laughs> now, what attracts me to people? I would say, I would say, passion and purpose. A like combi- combination of both of those. Um, even if it's like trying to figure it out, you know, a lot of people don't know what that is, but I think people that are adamant about figuring themselves out and passionate about doing something or helping people or, or something in their lives that really uh, attracts me to them. And it's like the first traits that you pick up from them. That's yeah, that, okay. yeah. Because yeah, I mean, I hate small talk. Yeah. You know, it's just like, you know, but I, because I, I, when I, when, I think I might have talked about this before. I had a problem for a minute. I was like, I didn't like talking to people, especially with small talk. I would just be like, what the fuck am I doing? Right, right. And then Waste I, of time. I, I flipped the script on that and <laughs> started uh, like really trying to understand who they were. And right. What, and, and then their story and getting to like wh- how they became the person they are today. Yeah. And those stories could really help you learn absolutely <clears throat> more about who they are and how, how people, you know, act. And myself as a writer and stuff, it's, it's sure. important to understand people like that. So, uh, so yeah, I think. All that combined. What you guys do? Positive energy attracts me to people. Okay. So you know, right off the rip, you can kind of okay. like tell, like by the conversation in their body, that they're. I get a, I get a vibe. Get a vibe. Yeah. You get an awesome vibe, Lance. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, you guys got. Everybody. So we got good sending here. That was great. That was great answer. What about you, Joe? Not a damn thing. Oh God. <laughs> Nothing does. <laughs> Bunch of thick ass people. Look at Riley. No, Riley's kidding. like, what the? <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I, no, because every time Lance says this shit, hey, I you don't have to fire buy, You don't have headphones on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we heard that. That shit rumbled through my body. No, it was fun. Come on, that was, was that? A, was that? that it was fun? louder. Wasn't that? Was that fun? You didn't pitch the mic. Though. I mean, you didn't. No. You didn't break. Yeah, it's all good. Um, being genuine, I, I can pick it off real quick. Um, mm. Yeah. And I, I've had that conversation with a lot of people, and I had one yesterday with someone, and then I also told you about this um, a couple days ago about someone I work with talked about how they met some friends of mine mm-hmm. and said that you know Lance was a very genuine person, but so and so wasn't. Oh. You know, I mean, it's just I think being genuine and being yourself, and just and like and like he said, positive vibes and and just going through bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. You know, that's what attracts me. Just go through the bullshit. You can tell. Yeah, you know, it's it's getting those vibes. Vibes are everything. They yeah, are yeah. character vibes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you man. can read that right right yeah. off the bat too. For sure. You know, if you can't, then it's yeah. yeah you get you get caught slipping. No, I mean that, people I'm are master it. masters at that hiding it though. You know, so oh, it's, that's why I like yeah, to like sure. I'll talk for a little bit, see the see the vibes, and mm. yeah, good question, man. Yeah. 
Did you have a would you would you rather this week? No, I got another one, but not uh, what would you rather? Oh, let's let's hear, it, no, let's hear it. I just did one. You do one. <laughs> <laughs> I just did one. You do one. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> All right, I got a good one. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Can't wait to hear it. What do you think about like secret societies in 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 America? Like, what is it? The Bohemian Grove. Remember that? So back in the you know back in the day, all the the top percent of of the world leaders would meet in this place in California and have like this whole like I don't know like seance and then they make broker deals for mm -hmm. their countries, prospective countries and stuff like. What do you think about that? And then what about like Ivy League? What is it called? The Skull and Bones and you know something like that. I don't, I don't know the, high, the Ivy League. Dead schools. Poet Society is what you're talking about. <laughs> the movie and shit. No man, not the movie, man. Like well, that was that was that, that, that was a secret society. Phoenix of Harvard. I think that's one of them for sure. I think they did they did do a reenactment of it actually with uh, I think it was Paul Walker in it and it was like they were at I think that it wasn't Harvard I think it was Yale or something like that. Fast and Furious. No. <laughs> that's funny. I think it was called Skull and Bones. Wait, are you gonna answer the damn question or what, bro? Let me laugh, bro. <laughs> if you ain't laughing, you ain't living. That was funny, Marcus. <laughs> um, I I think it's pretentious as shit. Man, I don't think I ever, you know, I mean, I, I think those, we, we don't know what goes on there. It's just, uh, That's like a mafia thing. You think it happens? Hell yeah. <laughs> Freemasons, right? Hell yeah. It's a mafia thing. What's your opinion on that? Freemasons, they've been around for how long? Long time. Oh. They should be around. I mean, the mafia would still be going well if John Gotti didn't sink the damn ship. So I just want to be clear with our listeners. You think the top 1% of the world should run, every, should uh, richest people should run everything. Hell, motherfucking no. <laughs> they shouldn't run a damn thing. Try to trap you up. No, you can't trap <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, but in actuality, man, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, even, even to go as far as, because, you know, when you talk about Illuminati and stuff like that, I mean, if you think about it as, as a human species, wouldn't you get with a bunch of people that are like, well, like rich as you and, and you guys can kind of control stuff? Wouldn't you get together and kind of make decisions for things? Wouldn't that make sense that people are doing that? Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, that's why we have a problem because that's greed. And that's the problem with the world is greed. And, and, and what comes with that is a lot of ego and a lot yeah, of, you know, exactly. but a lot of power, man, that's a... Well, do you want to be a powerful person? No, I'm not. Is that what I, you're trying to get at? Not now? at all, man. I'm not. Nah, you're nah, trying you to bully me. You said I was nice, bro. Why would I be powerful? I'm, you know, I'd like to have some some type of, you know, power over things, but definitely not like a, you know, the well, I mean, richest I, person I, in the I, world I, no, <laughs> type shit, you know? I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, no, it's, I think that'd be more money, more problems. For sure. Yeah, that's true. Because, I mean, when, once you do start attracting that wealth, and you can, you're making I'm those calls. You what, if I ever got like a, a big sum of money, I'm talking about a huge sum of money. I don't even know if I'd talk to anybody in this room again. That's what you, you said that before. <laughs> I'd go fucking away, and that'd be it. What is I, it? I'd give you a little gift. Take care. I'll give you thirty days. Heavy is the uh, right. Uh, heavy uh, is the crown. What is it? What's the saying? You heavy give is, me thirty Stu? days. <laughs> heavy is the heavy is the crown on the king's head. Something no, but like he's that. right though because I am <laughs> my, my people I have in my life, dude. I'm it's very a social proud thing. Of them. Like, yeah. it's, it's, I'm a very social individual. I go nuts when I'm not social. Yeah. That's what's your most embarrassing moment in your life? Oh wow! Didn't no, we haven't no. got on this yet, have we? Oh. Damn, in my life, mm -hmm. shit. Hmm. You pose the question. He, uh, heavy is the head that wears the there crown. There you go. There it is. Yeah. That's yeah. uh, William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. Oh, wow. And Biggie Smalls. Bill. <laughs> more money, more problems. Yeah. yeah. You know? Uh, but, uh, all right. So, most embarrassing, like, in front of people? Mr. Like, General. everything? Ah, oh, shit, man. I don't know. There's so many. How about, how about, how about we, okay, I'll, I'll I, put, uh, I, no, I'll, okay. we'll do this. You'll, you'll narrow it down for For a me. job, in a job. Like when you're working. When I was working? Hmm. Probably, definitely. I mean, if we're going in bar top, yeah, embarrassing probably would be like when I was serving and I, you know, would drop, like, I remember, yeah, it, you drop stuff and I dropped on, on a customer and, you know, you're right? Everybody's yeah. been there. And you drop something, <laughs> it's, everybody's looking at you in the room uh, and you're cleaning up, you know? At, I don't know. It's probably one of the, at a job, probably one of the most embarrassing moments. So I knew you set this up for your story. Let's hear it. Kind of. Because I'm on the to, spot uh, right there I with used that to, bullshit. I used to, I used to, 
I used to bounce at a place and um, someone got sick and they go, well, Joe is a manager at Buka. We can go ahead and okay. let him do it. And um, It was the most drinky dink shit I've ever seen in my life, how they did everything. And sure. I, used, I had to use my personal email and I was drinking a little bit. And oh, I remember ate, this. You remember this? And um, I had to save the emails. I was I had, So I had to use my personal email and I had to send... You were serving tables? No, no, no. I was, no. So, so I was bouncing at this place. Oh, bouncing. Okay. okay the, something happened with one of the managers. He had to go, and they said, well, Joe worked at Buka. We could have him do it as okay. manager. Okay. And it was rinky-dink how they did everything, and I used my personal email to send out the report. Sure. So when I saved each name. <laughs> what did you do? I, I, I can't repeat the names. You have to. No, I well, put not like. The, not their names, but what you named them. I put like SoCal Jackoff. <laughs> um, Oh, Jackass oh, one. I know where this is going. And I and a couple other ones. Like asshole two or something, yeah, something like that. Like that. Yeah, I said yeah, asshole two. So I, was, I was fucked up. I was <laughs> it's a, and it's a bar, so it's like late night. So yeah, it's late night. I, I, it's like I, fucking I three in the morning. Three. I was drinking martinis and shit. And I was young. And fucking everybody was everywhere. <laughs> I can yeah. already see. And my boy James, I came up. I go, hey, bro. Do you, I just sent this. You think you're all right? He goes, no, you're fucked. <laughs> he said the report so that their names so, were on so it. So their on names them. were on it. So, so like, they seen. Yeah, dude. Exactly. What, so that's the what only that's the only job I ever got fired from. <laughs> and, and even the guy, even the guy that I replaced that I knew pretty well, he even told me, he "Goes, oh, no, the roommate went in there and switched all their names. Oh, no, we're gonna have them out there." He dude, put the all. <laughs> what made you think you could do that though? I don't know. You were just like, fuck uh, it. I was just, fuck it. Because, I mean, that's you have to literally type that shit in and then hit send. I, I, I told you, I was drinking martinis <laughs> at a young age. But my bigger problem was I had to use my own fucking personal email. <laughs> <laughs> one, one of my uh, one of my clients, she's That's like a, a good friend of mine and a longtime client, sends us a lot of business. And she always used to tell me like, she she would call me Fun Time Sally because I would never go out. Like, come on, Fun Time Sally. Like, I would always ruin the party because she'd be like, Hey, you want to come to this vacation? Want to come to this bar? Hang out at this thing? And I, I would never go because I was working. You know, it was my right. working era. And uh, for like years, so she said she she changed my name and her phone to um, Fun Time Sally. And then when when she was emailing people to hook me up with like big deals or whatever she's trying to do, <laughs> introducing me, my name based on it staying in her contact said Fun, Fun Time, Time Sally, Sally. <laughs> to whoever like hey this is it. and then she was like oh shit what am, like <laughs> I'm like change my, change change my I mean, name I mean I think you know recently not recently like four or five years ago I'd have like names for people like Mikey I would say it, it would say Jack. Momo it would say Momo yeah 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 and like I fucking finally dude I had to switch because of what he said like yeah. you can't like hey let me send you Mike's name or what does Momo mean oh hold on bro it's Mike <laughs> you know what does it mean motherfucking moron <laughs> this is an Italian word <laughs> I seen this uh this thing not too long ago uh this guy uh he uh is in Atlanta right he, he was in, or so he 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 was he grew up in Ohio, right? He was at in high school. He had a kid. He didn't know. He moved to Atlanta. He was in Atlanta for like eighteen years. He's like thirty five, thirty six, right? He, and then the mom from Ohio moved to Atlanta. They took and said that he was the father. Took a blood test. He ends up being the father. They want. They file. They so he so he had no idea he had a kid. And he finally takes on the kid, you know, he's introducing to him, having him come stay the night, doing all this stuff, you know, trying to be in his life. And the parents sue him for 120 grand for back child support. Holy shit. What? And in and, 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 and a lot of states that wouldn't work, but since he was born in Ohio, he had to pay a lump sum of 120 grand. He couldn't even get payments on it. What? And and you just found, yeah, you just found out like months ago that you this kid even existed, right? It's that. That's How does that go through? Child support, man. The the front of the court. That's what the what it's called. Out in its different states. Like I know Michigan's front of the court is very vicious with that too. But Ohio, that's what it is. If they were if they were born in Ohio, and the father finds out eight, even if it's eighteen years later, that that's their child, they have to pay a, and they'll come up with a uh, you know a fee, and it was about one hundred twenty thousand dollars for this kid's life for eighteen years, and Damn. you know. So the guy actually, you know, he had, you know, had the money, but it wasn't like, you know. That's why they went broke him. for it. Yeah. yeah. But, it, you know, it, it, that 120 grand, bro, that will break you, man. I thought that was crazy, though. So moral of the story, don't date women from Ohio. 
Well, right. <laughs> well, that, I that second system that is... most remark this shit. I've done it before. <laughs> but that, what do you, what do you got to say about that? The system is kind of, that's kind of broken. But it right? goes back to everything we've been talking about through this whole thing. That's the whole fucking the question, thing. Is, the, whole, <laughs> the whole fucking thing's a shit show. Right, right. And yeah. that's why I just want to fucking go into a fucking, I, I'm serious. Like, I would love to get a fucking bunch of land out of the middle of fucking nowhere. Just have enough fucking groceries, fucking booze, groceries. whatever I fucking need, fucking food. Have some animals, have a significant other. As long as I had my ESPN and horse racing <laughs> channels, I could just chill out and be left alone. Because this shit's going to be crazy soon. It's getting worse and worse and worse. So you better, you better. First thing you better do is get Starlink. Because if you're going to be in the middle of nowhere and you want ESPN and all that, you're going to have to have that. Oh man, I'll, 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 I'll find it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Starlink. You know what Starlink is? The, no, no, but my cousin made it. The, Elon. <laughs> <laughs> you get Starlink, you get Neuralink, you'd be good to go. Yeah, man. There you, okay. You'll be ready to rock, bro. It's not like it's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I think we got one more segment, right? And that is Crack the Code. Oh, we crack the Code. Crack, crack in the Code. code. We, 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 we talked about this last night, man. Oh, we yeah. we love this. Yeah, yeah. man. Hey. Definitely going to be yeah. happening every week. Yeah, we love this. All um, right. So, what you got, Mr. Crack Code? So, I got for Mark. Crack Code. All right. So, seriously, though, I. What are your thoughts and advice on advertisement for your content on all social media platforms? And second part is, what companies would you recommend? Well, and when you say companies, uh, what do you mean? Like, like uh, different, uh, you different know, social media social platforms, me or, or or you know, people that <clears throat> maybe Google, you know, that runs ads, like oh, Google different types of, you know, yeah. what that type of company. Yeah. So, I, so I would say, um, when you start off, mm -hmm. I would say focus on organic growth gotcha right now is the time to focus on organic growth that's why we even we pivoted from running ads and because and, if you're not selling products it doesn't really fully make sense because right. the theory that's out there right now is that if you are doing vertical videos 59 seconds or less and you are distributing them where the highest organic growth is which is tiktok instagram um uh youtube Facebook and now X has a really interesting right. video content creation plan. So as they're distributing distributing some revenue there with the rev share, um, and you can put anything on X too, man. Right, anything. Right. So so because before we'd say don't even focus on uh, X unless you were going to do like memes or written word and like you know be funny or what you know it's a different kind of content there. Right, but yeah. now as Elon's. Um, molding it into this new um, revenue share, it's it's starting to get really interesting. So we're like we're paying attention and, and going to change the strategy. But the great thing about vertical videos is that you get to discover what your brand is. When you like, even when you guys first started doing skits, you're trying some things out, and right. now you guys are finding your stride, and you're really blown up on YouTube with YouTube Shorts. So like, what is it over two hundred thousand views, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, and TikTok, you're, you're still getting some success here and there. Instagram is is cool, but if you were if you were only focusing on Instagram, like most people are, right. you would be missing out on this huge opportunity to grow uh, mass views on on YouTube Shorts. But um, I say that because a lot of a lot of people they don't know how to create content. They don't know how to um, they don't even know what their full brand is. So right. creating video, uh, uh, vertical video content regularly allows you to evolve into who you actually are, allows you to provide value. And then when you do want to start running ads, you now have a plethora of content, which means people start trusting you and they fall into word. everything. Yeah. Um, and But this also allows you to... Um, to confirm what creative is actually working to right. then run ads. So, I mean, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, like uh, Google AdWords. Add, yeah. So they, they, all Does of that the boost money work like when you so, boot, like, yeah. So the only thing is on the front end, I would say when you use the meta, uh, meta business on the back end and run ads there, it is more complicated. So you typically would need some help or there's a lot of courses out there that you can learn how to do it. A lot of people, right. the, the person that we use most, she learned it on her own. Yeah. So, um, so you can learn it on your own. However, like the boost, it gets really tricky right now because the theory is if you do, right, the whole thing is based on an algorithm. Right. So when you're putting vertical video content out on, on these different platforms, it's showing it to people that don't follow you already. So that's like, or that's organic growth with people that don't know who the hell you are. Mm -hmm. And if you could drive those people in, now they become uh, fans of yours and followers of yours. And once you've built enough trust, now they'll start buying shit from you. So, 
if you boost on the front end, the only bad thing about it is it now tells the algorithm that they're willing to pay. So what these mm. platforms theoretically will do is Damn. minimize your organic growth. They'll suffocate your organic growth because you're willing to put the money in and then run it that way. Damn. Wow. So, so I would avoid doing it on the front end. I would right. focus on, I would try to learn or hire somebody to do it on the back end because then you can create a, a conveyor belt that will actually allow you to get to your finished goal. So let's say you have a product, say you're selling um, like t-shirts, uh, hats. t-shirts, off the script, t-shirts and, and, and merchandise. Right, right? right. So if you guys have a, a viral video where you're wearing it or something about the shirt, or maybe a chick is wearing it and like something, some kind of creative that went super viral. Right. We're like, all right, dope. Let's use this as the, as the, as the ad. Right. And you're doing it through meta. So now you're on Facebook and, and Instagram. Now you're running that ad. And you could change it. You, you, you want to change. You, it's it's mostly A B testing. So you'll try some different copy, right? Right. To get their interest, and they watch the video. So as that's working, that now uh, they're now interested in in what you're doing, right? Right. right. So then you say like. T-shirts available here, here, and here. Now, if you um, if that one works, it sends them to your site. They buy it, right? Mm -hmm. Most people don't buy on the first time, right? So now, based on how long you've watched the video, now you can retarget those people with another ad that's similar to similar it, similar to it, right? Because you guys are getting, you, I'm sure you're getting ads like this based on yeah. how you guys navigate social media. So now, um, so now you have that second piece of content. Now people are like, oh, okay, cool. I, I want to actually buy this shirt. I thought about it before. Right. Now I'm going to do it now. So now they go to your site. And if your site's super easy to use, right, you don't want to send them to your homepage and they got to fucking go through everything to find the shirt. You want them right on that home, on that, on that, um, item that they want, the item that they want. So right on that, on that, on that page, um, landing page mm -hmm. and make it super easy to purchase, maybe even slash the price. Mm -hmm. Right. But then what if they put it in their cart, but then they don't buy now you have you have to now you have their email, so you get an email from from them that says like, "Hey, you forgot something in your cart. You have 24 hours left, and we'll give you this amount of price." So now, so it's this conveyor belt. You want to keep them on, and eventually convert into a sale. Yeah. But um, which a lot of people mess up on, especially in services, is they'll create these ads, they'll put it out there, but then they'll get to the homepage. The homepage won't be, or the right. the, yeah. the landing page right. will be fucked up. It'll make it hard for them to purchase. Yeah. So then they'll get confused and they'll go go away. Or if you you can actually purchase on that or there's a number to call to then set up a consultation the person that they have answering the calls can't convert can't close the sale yeah so now you've paid all this money have all this great creative you get them to the finish line and then somebody drops the ball mm. so i would say each of these different parts of the conveyor belt are super necessary to figure out um and uh but the the pathway there is really great content that makes people trust you that isn't too salesy. And then once you've, you've already built that, then you have creative, you know who you are and you run ads and then have all those different set, uh, steps set up properly. And then you can actually convert on this. And that way, every penny you spend is actually worth it. Actually worth it. Right. So yeah, I mean, build a commerce business and then talk about some ads. Yeah. That's yeah, what I yeah. got from that. Yeah. Cause otherwise you just throw some money in a boost right. and you hope that you cross your fingers. That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, you know, yeah. right. right. I know a lot of people get, you know, like, you know, you want to, you know, this post is good. Let me boost it. $20 down the drain. You don't even see too much of a, you know, it does reach out, but you're, you're totally right, man. You explained that mm. really well, man. Crack the code, yeah. huh? Crack the code. Crack it up. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do, Joe? You want to get out of here? Yeah. Okay. Where can yeah, they find you? Been a long ass two days, of fucking hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. uh, work and work, work. Yeah, well, you were working last night. I was sitting there, like, <laughs> like, fucking bodyguard, or running numbers or some shit. <laughs> had fun, whatever. You had, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I, I appreciate y'all <laughs> for watching as usual. For sure. Okay, uh, thank you for all the positive energy. Just remember, go with your intuition. Mm. That's odd to say. And this is the real Joe Rosati. Contact me any way you like. You can even send me a telegram. <laughs> telegram. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> How about you, Stu? You can find me at <clears throat> Stuzilla Productions on Instagram and TikTok. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Marky Moore. You can find me, Mark Rodriguez TV, everywhere, and us at Mastermind, mind, M Y N D, media dot com, oh, dot com and yeah, all that stuff. All that stuff. You, you, you got to see the hat. And there's yeah. merch right there. Go online, you'll find some hats like this, different color waves. And uh, I am underscore ill son. Yep. And this is. Off the script, T H A, right? You gotta tell Jeez. people that, right? No, you all, uh, that, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. important. That's important. Bro, you try to tell them that shit, and I just don't give me my, my damn phone. Yeah, though, because yeah. I'm tired. Of, why do you have a T H A? It don't fucking matter. That's what it is. That's what it is. Be happy if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> just wait for that all day. <laughs>
Riley's like, what's going on? He's changing yeah. his voice. <laughs> uh, off the script podcast. And uh, thank you guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. We just got to go hard. Uh, I go the hardest.